let's see boom let's just drop a bunch of them oh my god dude are you kidding is that magma store even still alive wow there we go so today i need to go ahead and tame an astrocetus i'm very excited to tame one of these guys because i haven't done it like legit in survival at all i did a video where we did tame one and check them out but that was all kind of like you know god mode type spawned in stuff and i you know it's it's not like the proper experience so we're gonna go ahead and take our text gift that we made up in the last episode and uh we're gonna head on over to the lunar biome right now here we go we should load in any second now maybe where is it oh my god are you kidding me <laughs> get down here how how do i oh, i guess i could jump what am i talking about okay that was really dumb oh no 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 uh oh oh there's meteors oh my god <gasps> they could totally hit exactly where i am right now okay i need to get out of here uh where's the safe spot i don't even know maybe i should just hide behind one of these rocks um anyway so yeah i want to go ahead and find a decent level astro and uh go ahead and try to tame it they take uh for their kibble oh my god dude those things are honestly terrifying those giant meteors like obviously everybody knows what happened earlier on in the series with the meteors that was not fun um i really hope that doesn't happen right now i'm pretty sure i should be safe here though because they're coming from that direction anyway so the astrocetus takes uh the top tier of kibble as their preferred kibble um and to actually knock one of these dudes out what you gotta do is you gotta shoot it with cannons so or i guess you could also use rocket launcher or catapult but cannons is definitely the best way of doing it um so we gotta we gotta make sure that i don't mess this up i gotta try and not hit it anything extra than what it needs so i don't know we might take it a little bit slow it might be a little bit difficult to actually do this uh solo either way because i'm gonna have to like dismount run over to the cannon make sure it's all lined up correctly and actually make sure that there's a cannonball in there and uh then we gotta go ahead and shoot it in the face so i don't know i i'd say this could be a little bit difficult to do solo but um i guess we'll have to wait and see either way guys go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one that was terrifying we got some news about this series later on in the episode but we're gonna go ahead and tame up this whale first and then we'll talk about all that so uh yeah stick around and it's gonna be an adventure have these things stopped they have not okay i'll just sit here <laughs> oh hello 168 i will go ahead and tame you i gotta check this one too though uh oh my god that thing looks like it's moving super fast holy crap they actually move pretty pretty fast it's just not very noticeable what level are you oh my god i can't even check you know what i'm liking my tech skiff but i probably should have made an easier way to be able to spyglass around or i guess binocular around let me see what level are you 102 okay we'll go for that 168 i mean i'm definitely down for a 168 it's like two levels or two intervals off of uh max so that is fantastic um how do we do this though that is the question we're gonna have to line this up super well um oh my god look you can see his bones through him i've heard about that it's just kind of not that noticeable when you're riding on them though because of the saddle i think that is so cool looking though damn all right uh let me let me try and line this up a little better definitely gonna struggle doing this solo i can already tell all right okay maybe like right there okay boom i'm just gonna fire anyway i missed great <laughs> all right maybe we should aim that up just a little oh wait oh what's shooting at me no go away seriously i don't have anything to deal with you uh okay let me let me aim this cannon up a little okay well we're auto repairing anyway so that's fine maybe like right here okay let's run boom that oh my god i didn't even hit it i didn't even hit it i didn't uh. <laughs> I feel like maybe the placement of things makes it kind of difficult for me to actually hit fire So I might actually have to go into the inventory of the cannon to fire Which is gonna suck. Oh my god. This is gonna be a nightmare. I could already tell Oh, uh, should I just pick up all the structures on this thing so it's easier? I feel like I should Nope, nope, I can't Ah. Yeah, this is not great. I did design this very well for astrocetus teaming uh let's aim it like right there oh my god dude are you kidding me 
We gotta, like, knock this thing out quick as well. Like, if I dilly-dally a huge amount, this thing's just gonna zip away from me. Because they can just do their teleport. Yeah, this is frustrating. I might have to maybe think of a better method to do this solo. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. This is this is not going well, is it? This is just embarrassing. You bastard. Stop moving. Stay still, you stupid space whale. Okay. Right here. Right here. Here we go. Boom. We're gonna hit him, hit him again. Hit him again. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. I can't. Did I get him? Oh, one more should do it. One more. Holy crap. We're almost there. Aim like right there. No, oh, it's not gonna hit him. Okay, I gotta I gotta lead him a ton because he's He's very tricksy. No, that's not that's not a good shot. Oh come on! No! Seriously? That was like perfect! Perfect timing. It's just I was too far. No. <laughs> I have one more cannonball. Oh, this is not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to go back and make more cannonballs and then find this guy. I'm just gonna crash it right up to him and then just pull. Ah, oh, fuck you. Okay. This is like the most frustrating team ever. I might grab some rocket launchers to be honest, because this is the cannons and and doing it solo is just not working out. Oh my. Come on. Okay. Oh, oh, this might be good. This might be good. Come on. Boom. Oh, that was like totally on your face. Please tell me that knocked you out. Oh, he's out. No, he's not. Is he? He's out. He's definitely out. It doesn't look like he's out, though. I think he's out. I gotta like, I gotta ditch that thing, though. Stupid, um. Oh my god, go away. If I go near the whale now, that thing's just gonna shoot at me. <gasps> Please don't hit the whale. There we go. Come on, go away. Come on, how many more hits is it going to take? I missed the two of those. Go away, seriously. Like, literally just piss off. <laughs> oh, you know what? I have my shoulder cannon. Let's just do that. Okay. Target him, please. Kill. Shoulder cannon, please kill now. Shoulder cannon, do it. No, why are you on that mode? Go into overcharge. There we go, we got it. All right. Okay. We can use that vent right there to get up. Oh man, all right. Well, the whale is out. That is good. I don't think, I don't know if I'm gonna have like full effectiveness on it though. My god, that was so frustrating. I'm sorry for complaining so much, but like, th that's just the worst thing to do solo. Especially with the way I had it set up. So maybe next time I'll, I'll do it a little bit better. Can I go down now, please? Come on. I'm like burning up here. Let me go down. <laughs> Let me go down. I should have just pulled out the Bloodstalker. There we go. Now we're going down. Nice. Okay. I gotta like land on its back and just feed it. God, it's crazy looking at its bones like that. Okay, I don't know if it needs thingy. Um, okay. Is this okay? We're kind of just like hovering on its back right now. So maybe I'll just try and land somewhere over here. Because I'm like burning to death. Is this okay? Oh, this is actually perfect for me. All right, so now we just got to wait for this thing to be fully tamed. Oh! <gasps> Oh, those meteors better not hit it. Or me. They're hitting pretty close. Oh, I really don't want that to to hit him. Hmm. How fast is that food dropping? It's not dropping that fast, but it's not the worst, I guess. Um, hmm. Those meteors are kind of scary. Yeah. Oh, God, they're hitting right up there. Oh, I really hope they're not going to be able to hit me. Oh, I really hope so. Okay, has he eaten yet? He's probably about to eat, and then we'll be able to see how much he's gonna go up by. Yeah, he's gonna eat in a minute here. Oh, crap. I need to I need to heal somehow. 
Well, if I'm about to die, then I'll go ahead and, uh, and teleport out of this biome. But I'm gonna have to come back here and find this area somehow. Oh my, it's terrifying. Oh wow, 36%, okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, can I survive waiting? I don't know, I might be able to. It's only gonna take, oh wow, oh my God, look at the effectiveness, I absolutely ruined that thing. Okay, great. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe rocket launchers would have been a better option. Yeah, the cannon really didn't work out very well there, did it? Um. Yeah, I don't know. That's just that's just too frustrating to try and do solo. Like, unless you have the cannon set up directly beside you, then it's not really worth doing. Uh, so I guess that type of skiff design is definitely not what you want. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, I'm happy to at least have the whale. <laughs> it's a terrible uh, amount of levels to lose, but eh, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, let me go ahead and turn off my shoulder cannon to make that thing shut up um okay so yeah we'll be back in a little bit i'm gonna probably have to teleport out of this biome and come back though so yeah i'll see you guys when we have this whale and maybe we'll get out of the lunar biome to be honest okay so it looks like it's lost more levels i don't know how it only got 30 extra levels that's weird i wonder why that is does it not like the kibble? I actually don't even know. Oh my god, it ate it all. Oh wow, okay, great. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that sucks, but that's it's fine. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know why he lost extra levels. Was it taking damage here? I really I'm a little bit confused about that. It's so confusing. Um, okay. So yeah, we have it tamed at least. That's cool. Uh what I want to actually do right now is take it out of this biome. I'm actually going to need to come back here and grab some ambergris. Although maybe uh, I might still have some in my fridge. I might actually have some in the fridge. All right, cool. Because the ambergris is how you drop the giant bombs, which if you guys have seen, they're pretty cool. I think you get one loaded, do you? How do you drop these? Okay, obviously I can't use it right now. Uh, so I think we're probably in range of our uh, tech skiff as well right now. So we should be able to teleport everything out. Um... Yeah, I don't know how it lost the extra levels. We should have got an extra 57, but it looks like it went down to 30. So that's kind of strange. Maybe it doesn't like the kibble. I don't know. I might have to look into that one. If you guys know, though, let me know, because I did look on Dodo Dex before doing this just to confirm their kibble, but that's very strange. Very, very strange. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. I want to go to the lava biome, so let's go there. And we should be able to get everything in. Should, hopefully. <laughs> My god, this is such a cool looking creature. I mean, this is kind of insane flying it around in biomes that is not the uh, lunar biome. I can't wait to actually try this thing out on some other maps as well. Wow, that is so cool looking. We actually got a really nice color as well. I like the yellow. Damn, all right. So let me see. I got to get over to the base here. Uh, is this close enough? Maybe. <laughs> Sweet. You just keep your little face there. Um, so what I want to do is grab a... Is my mining drill in here? I feel like it might be. Yeah. I want to grab the mining drill, and I'm going to need some gasoline. Do I still have the generator here? Uh, I might have some inside of here then. Uh, we might? Potentially? No. Okay. Um, let me try and find some gasoline. All right. Cool. So I got some. We can head back over to the lunar biome and pick up some ambergris. But, uh, oh, you know what? Do I have any? Let me just see if I can pull for some. All right, let me see. Give me the ember. I want a good amount of this stuff because we can drop one bomb for one ember, I think. All right, let's see. Um, oh, wow, okay, I have so much crap. Let's just drop them manually, I guess. It's probably easier. Okay. I can move now. I think, yeah, you can find amber from the little pokey kind of spiky rocks, I guess, are the best ones. I think like this. No, not that one. Which one is it again? I keep, I keep forgetting. Okay, let me see. All right, well, I think I've got a good amount for the moment. I think I have probably like 60 or something. Yeah, we have tons. Uh, so I'm going to head back 
Me just, oh my god, look at all the stone I have. I'm gonna head back now, and then we can test out this whale properly. Nice. Alright, so I've got all of the amber inside of my space whale. Let me see. We gotta find some stuff to destroy. So let's teleport around. You can do this by holding down a uh, space bar, and then you get this little icon, and then you... Then you hit left click and it teleports you and if you have flyers around you or any other creatures it's going to teleport them too which is pretty awesome actually i really like that so let's hit c can i do that it's not allowing me maybe do i need cosmic power to drop the bombs i didn't think i did okay so anyway the uh the space whale itself has two uh attacks without i guess using the saddle so we have left click which is a bite and then right click which is the tail whip Neither of them are fantastic, to be honest. It's not really much of a fighter. It's more of a... I guess it's more of like just a, a kind of a bomber and like a, a gunner as well. Because you can be on... Oh my god, I'm like legitimately inside of the whale's mouth. This is disturbing. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> you could be inside of the... Let me drop that in there. Inside of these little turrets here. Oh my god, I keep messing up. All right, let's just do it from here. Because I feel like that's the only easy way to do it. So... We can hop into these turrets and shoot from them. Oh, wow. How much damage are we going to do? I can't actually hit that stego there, but I can probably hit this one. Nice. Yeah, we're actually doing some pretty decent damage. I don't know how much element we're running through. Oh, yeah. We've got it in the bottom corner there. Not bad. All right. I mean, they're kind of like not super powerful, but there are three of them. So you could potentially have uh, four people with your whale. You riding and the three other people. Okay, I'm hitting C, but it's not allowing me to do the carpet bombs. Uh, maybe I gotta wait for them all to charge up or something. Cause I'm not exactly sure about that one. Uh, but oh, oh my, fuck, no. Now I'm done, yeah, great. Why would it drop me off the whale? Like, <laughs> why would it drop me off? It makes no sense. <laughs> like, I didn't even, oh my God. Come on, like, it, <laughs> oh, that makes zero back. sense. That, like, so stupid. I don't understand that at all. There it is. Can I maybe whistle it? Probably not. And my glide suit was over there. God damn it. Are you kidding? Ugh. All right. How the hell do I get down there and over there super quick? I guess I could run around and then grab my body and whatever, bloodstalker my way up. That is really dumb, though. Ah. <sighs> Okay, there we go. So I have the whale on follow, but for some reason he went over into the ground over there. Um, okay. By the way, do you have any good like name suggestions for these whales? I can't really think of anything right now. But uh, yeah, if anybody has like any awesome suggestions, I'll probably name a whale in the future that. Uh, let me see. I want to try and get above these stegos and do the bombs on them. Because the bombs are amazing and I love them. All right, there we go. So that's kind of like the blast radius of the bomb. Let me see. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Oh, there we go. Oh. <gasps> Those things are so cool looking. Yeah, that is amazing. Oh, I love that. All right. We got to maybe try and use some of those bombs and some other creatures. Let's see. What else do we have? We got a Rex over there. I don't think I can teleport to the side, though. I guess I could probably turn and then get closer to it. There we go. Boom. To be honest, when they were describing the uh, the ability to like kind of teleport and like zip around, I honestly thought you could go further than that. I was pretty disappointed with the range on it. If I'm not, if I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest, like a lot of the stuff to do with the space whale, I was kind of disappointed about. I think it is a great creature, but I was just expecting a little bit more from it. Let's see. Boom. Let's just drop a bunch of them. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding? Is that Magvastor even still alive? Wow. There we go. Wait, what? How am I on fire? Is he not dead? Okay, how the hell did I go on fire? I'm like super far away from it. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so down here, uh, this is your, these are your bombs right here. The hyperdrive. What is that exactly? I think that's, that's to do with this, right? Yeah, the hyperdrive kind of just regenerates immediately, and then you can do that again. But the cosmic power is your overall energy to do that. So you have to wait for that to be full, um, or at least an up enough, I guess, because you can see it takes around a third of the bar or something like that. 
Um, so you have to wait for a good amount of that to be able to teleport around, which makes it slightly balanced. I just, I honestly would have preferred if it went a little bit further than this. I guess maybe on some servers that might not work very well, but I don't know. I figured that would be cool if it could like zip around really, really far. Because that's how they kind of described it. And when we got it, I was like, oh, okay. You know, it still is pretty cool, but just, just go as far as I wanted it to. Wow. That is so destruct destructive. Like, that is ridiculous. Oh my god, this thing is so cool looking. Um, so yeah, in terms of uh, stats, I guess your best bet is realistically just pumping health. I don't really see much point in, like, pumping anything. I guess stamina maybe a little bit. But, like, you're really not going to be fighting creatures with this. You're mainly just going to be dropping the bombs. Like, here, I'll try and get down to a creature and show you how much melee we do. Maybe that RG over there. Can we teleport down? Yeah, we technically can, I think. Boom. That didn't really take us very far. We try and get a hit in on one of these creatures, though. Yeah, you can see 78. Like, it's not worth pumping melee. Even though the health doesn't go up by a huge amount, you're probably better off pumping that. I can't even hit him with the other attack. Come on. I can't even hit him with the tail. Wow, okay, so that's, <laughs> that's not very good. Okay, boom. What about if he's behind me, maybe? I don't know if we're gonna be able to hit him properly. I wanna try, because I wanna see how much damage we do. Okay, let's get a little closer. <laughs> My god. <laughs> All right, maybe, you know what? Let's hit that Magma Sword instead. That would be a better bet. All right, let's just, like, teleport above it. Okay, here we go. Tail Whip attack. Okay, 200. It's not bad, but, like, I just don't think it's really worth pumping into. You see, it's, it's still there, but I can't even hit it now. Let's maybe fly up a little. Okay, I need to, like, aim directly in the center so he doesn't blow us, not to the side. Yeah, it's not even hitting now. Oof. All right, that hurt me. That was a bad idea. Oh, my God. All right. Well, either way, I don't know. It's a cool creature. Just it suits its own purpose. And I'm probably just going to be pumping health on it. <laughs> I guess weight could be good, too, but I don't know. Um, either way, I don't know. This creature's awesome. I'm so glad that I got to tame one. And, um, I guess let's get to the news about the series. Guys, the Genesis series is coming to an end with this episode. Um, I've been planning it for a little while to end it off. Considering the fact that Crystal Isles is coming out really soon, I want to mainly be focusing on that, Ultimate Arc, and some other stuff. Um, but that's not the reason why it ended. I would say we kind of came to the stage where we've done pretty much everything that I wanted to get done. So I don't know. I was kind of happy with uh, with ending it off here because the thing that you need to kind of consider is that if I'm most likely going to include Genesis in the Ultimate Arc series, so eventually I'm going to have to just do all of this again. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of variation I could really do uh, because I'm still going to need to do all of, the, all of the missions. And that's why I've kind of stopped showing them on cam because... I know that eventually I'm going to have to show them all on cam in that series. So, yeah, that's why we didn't go for the alpha boss in this one, because I'm going to have to do it eventually anyway. And that's why we didn't go for the, um, for like, I guess, a bunch of other creatures, because I'm probably going to end up having to tame them anyway. So, yeah, unfortunately, I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed with this, but um, I, I just kind of felt like we got to the stage where we've pretty much done everything that I wanted to, at least. So... I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. 50 episodes is a good amount. It seems like I'm ending a lot of series at 50, considering we just ended the Jurassic one about a week or two ago at 50 as well. So <laughs> I guarantee people are going to start making a meme out of that. When I start getting close to 50, it's like, oh, he's going to end it. But uh, no, I mean, I kind of felt like we've done pretty much everything that I wanted to. Uh, there's more things that I would want to do eventually, but we're going to like this isn't the end of Genesis on the channel. We're definitely going to be playing this a little bit more on the cluster as well and ultimate arc we're gonna have to play all of genesis so that's gonna be insane i <laughs> that's gonna be ridiculous i honestly can say that i'm not extremely excited about that but um 
yeah, we're going to probably end up doing it anyway. But uh, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the series as a whole, go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, if you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Of course, we've got Crystal Isles coming up. Of course, I'm going to do a series on it. It's going to be awesome. Boom. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.